Developed by Corning Incorporation, Gorilla Glass is made from a material called alkali alumina silicate, which is formed by bonding aluminum, silicon, and oxygen together. Corning started developing Gorilla Glass technology started in mid-2005. It was designed to make smartphone and handheld devices resistant to damage and scratches while also being lightweight and thin. However, Gorilla Glass wasn't the first advancement Corning made in the sector. The company was formerly known as Chemcore and they had been in the business of manufacturing resistant glasses that were used to our household items, ophthalmic devices, cars, aerospace, and pharmaceutical application. Ironic considering Corning is now mostly for its glass on smartphones. or the Gorilla Glass one was ready between 2005 and 2006. But it's a big debate really came with the iPhone. Apple released its device to the world in 2007 and at the company's request, the technology in its display was 1.5 mm thick and had an oleophobic coating which minimized the fingerprints and smudges. The iPhone wasn't the only smartphone to have Gorilla Glass in its display. Corning was able to get its tech onto about 250 devices in just the first generation. The second generation or the Corning Gorilla Glass 2. In 2012, Corning released a Gorilla Glass 2 at CES. The glass was just as resistant, but its main update was its thickness. The second generation was 20% thinner than the first model. In lab test, it could withstand up to 50 kg of pressure without cracking or breaking. In the same year, Gorilla Glass was shipped in 600 million devices since this version was thinner than the first. It let manufacturers develop lighter and thinner models of their phones. Both the Nexus 4 and the Galaxy S3 came equipped with a Gorilla Glass 2. The third generation or the Gorilla Glass 3. Gorilla Glass 3 bought even more resistance with it. Unlike the previous version which was more focused on thickness, this is also the generation that introduced native damage resistance or the NDR technology, which allowed the glass to handle even deeper scratches. According to Corning, the third generation prevented up, up to 35% of the scratches on the display. To commemorate the third version of their tech, Corning planned on increasing the resistance of its Gorilla Glass threefold compared to older versions. They could do this thanks to the new manufacturing process. GG3 was released on the CES in 2013 and it came on the models like the Galaxy S4 and the Moto G and the Moto X. The fourth generation or the Gorilla Glass 4. In 2014, Corning presented its Gorilla Glass with a bold new objective. Through one of its surveys, the company found out that 70% of cell phone screen damage was due to drops, and so it begins investing in reinforcing its glass. Gorilla Glass 4 was developed focused on the idea of being resistant to drops. In fact, according to the lab studies, the fourth version of Gorilla Glass was twice as strong as its predecessor. The Galaxy Note 5, Zenfone 2, Laser are few models that came with the Gorilla Glass 4. Fifth generation or the Corning Gorilla Glass 5. The fifth generation was released in 2016. It focused on providing even more resistant drops and it delivered four times the strength as the previous version. Corning also revealed that in the lab test, Gorilla Glass 5 managed to survive drops 
from up to 1.6 meters. Gorilla Glass 5 also claimed that it was least susceptible to cracks even the phone was dropped on extremely hard surfaces. Gorilla Glass 5 was used on products like the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Moto G 5G. It was also in 2016 that the Corning announced its first ever product for wearables known as Gorilla Glass SR+. Plus. generation or the Gorilla Glass 6. It is launched in July 2018. Gorilla Glass 6 was a real step up from the fifth generation. At the launch, Corning revealed that it had subjected the new variant to rigorous new testing method. The result, Gorilla Glass 6 claimed to be strong enough to withstand 15 consecutive drops on the hard surfaces from a height of 1 meter. It was rated to be twice as strong as the Gorilla Glass 5 it is still fairly common on smartphone used in 2021. Thank you so much guys for watching my videos and if you want more please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more updates so guys see you in my next video.